Hello all, welcome to AWS Tutorials. My name is Kaspro Kiran. In the last video, we have understood how to work with the versioning concept and how versioning helps in order to avoid the data deletion and overwriting factors when we are uploading the same file which contains the same data or a different data. In this video, we are going to talk about two of the important concepts that are available in S3 service. The first concept is called as replication setup, and the second concept is known as copying the objects between the S3 buckets. Usually in AWS, we have multiple services which are used to store the data. Among them, S3 is one of the services where we are going to create the buckets and inside the buckets, we are going to store the data in the form of images or in the form of document or in any other format. Now, let's say that once a data is stored in one bucket, I want to maintain a duplicate files of the same data for security purposes. In such cases, we are going to use the replication concept. To keep it simple, replication is nothing but if you want to maintain the duplicate files of the original data in order to provide additional security to your data, we are going to use replication setup. Now, in how many ways can we do this replication? Now, let us understand the replication concept with a simple scenario here. Let's say I have one S3 bucket and that bucket name, I'm going to keep it as a bucket one. Now, inside this bucket one, I'm going to upload some objects. Now, whenever I upload some objects into one bucket, automatically the duplicates of these objects should get replicated into another bucket and that bucket I'm going to call it as bucket two. So what exactly happening here is whenever I upload an object or whenever I upload multiple objects into one bucket, automatically the duplicates of those objects should get replicated into another bucket that is called as bucket two. So this is what we are going to do in the replication setup. Now let us understand in how many ways we can do the replication. In general, we can do the replication in three different ways. The first method of replication is nothing but same region and same account. What does it mean? It means let's say we have an AWS account and we know that AWS has been divided into regions and availability zone. Let's say in one region, I have one S3 bucket and in this region, whatever bucket is available, I have uploaded the objects. Now I want to replicate these objects into another bucket, which is available in the same region. Now let's consider that this region is nothing but North Virginia region or Mumbai region. Now whatever the objects that I am going to upload into this particular bucket, all those objects should get replicated into another bucket, which is there in the same region. Now remember, both these buckets are there in the same AWS account and they are also belonging to the same region. So if this bucket is there in the Mumbai region, this bucket should also be there in the Mumbai region. So that is first method of replication, same region and same account. The second method of replication is nothing but different region, but same account. That means, let's say again, I have one AWS account and in first region, I have one S3 bucket. Now in this S3 bucket, I have uploaded the object. Now let's consider this region as Mumbai region. Now I have one more bucket, which is there in separate region. Let's consider this region as North Virginia region. But remember, these two buckets are available in the same AWS account, but I'm trying to replicate the objects between two different regions which are available in the same AWS account. That is the second method of replication. And the third method of replication is nothing but different account. Now, what does it mean? It means, let's say I have one AWS account. In this AWS account, I have an S3 bucket. Now, I'm going to upload some objects into this S3 bucket. Now, whatever the objects that are available in this particular account of AWS, I want to replicate those objects into a completely different account which contains an bucket. So these are the three different methods of doing the replication. But in this demo, I'm going to show you the first two ways of replication. However, I'm going to show you how to do this 
configuration if you want to replicate the objects between two different AWS accounts. But this video will be focusing on how to replicate the objects when you have the buckets in the same region, same account, and when you have the buckets in different regions, but in same account. Now let me show you what are the tasks that we are going to do in the AWS console. The first task that we are going to do is we are going to create two buckets and I'm going to name the buckets as bucket one and bucket two. In bucket one, I am going to upload the original objects and in bucket two, whatever the objects that I am going to upload in the bucket one, all those objects should automatically get replicated into the bucket two. So that's the reason why I'm creating two buckets here. Now, after creating two buckets, we are going to enable replication for one of the buckets where we are going to upload the original objects. In whichever bucket you are going to upload the objects, that bucket we are going to do the replication enabling. And after doing the replication enabling, we are going to configure the replication for bucket two. Why we need to configure replication for bucket two? Because whatever objects that I'm going to upload in the bucket one, all those objects should come into bucket two by default. So in order to automatically come the objects into bucket two, we need to do some configuration. Now, after doing the configuration, what we are going to do is we are going to upload some objects in bucket one. After uploading the objects in bucket one, we will verify whether the objects are getting replicated in the bucket two or not. That is what observing the changes in the bucket two. These are the five tasks that we are going to do in order to understand the replication setup in S3 service. Let us go to the AWS console and let's work with these things in a practical way. So here I am in the AWS console, especially the S3 service. Here I'm going to show you method one of replication. What is method one of replication? Method one of replication is replicating the objects which are available in two different buckets and also those two buckets should be available in the same region. So between the buckets that are available in the same region and same AWS account, how to do the replication? That is what we are going to see now. So let me click on create bucket here. So here you can see I'm going to create the first bucket in the region, which is Mumbai. Okay, you remember this one, this is Mumbai. So I'm going to give the bucket name as bucket one underscore Mumbai region. Okay, bucket one underscore Mumbai region. So make sure the bucket is available in the Mumbai region. One important thing that we need to work is whenever we are going to work with the replication setup, it is mandatory to enable the versioning for the bucket. So here I'm going to enable the versioning for the bucket and with all other default setups, I'm going to click on create bucket. So with this, what is going to happen is I'm going to create the bucket. But here, if you see, when I click on create bucket, it is not allowing me to create. What it is saying, it is telling, it is telling that bucket name contains invalid characters. What is the invalid character underscore? So I should not give underscore here. Let me give hyphen and then let me add some other details with my name. So bucket one, which is available in Mumbai region, and I'm just giving my own name, right? So let me click on create bucket. So once you click on create bucket, if you have given the unique bucket name, the bucket will get created, right? So you can see the bucket one has got created. Let us create the bucket two in the same region that is Mumbai region. So click on create bucket and I'm selecting the Mumbai region. So bucket two, which is being created in the Mumbai region and I have given my name for here. And then for this bucket two also, we need to enable the versioning for the bucket. For both buckets, we need to enable the versioning. Then only the replication will happen. And with all other default settings, I'm just clicking on create bucket. So with this, we have created two buckets. What are those two buckets? The first bucket is called as bucket one Mumbai Castro. And the second bucket is bucket two Mumbai Castro. Now here, what I am going to do is, I am going to consider bucket one as the main bucket and whatever objects that I am going to upload in the bucket one, automatically all those objects should get a duplicate copy into the bucket two. So currently, if you see in bucket one, I don't have any objects. Okay, you can see in bucket one, I don't have any objects. Similarly, in bucket two also, I don't have any objects. Let me show you that as well. You can see I'm in the bucket two and there are no objects currently available both in bucket one and bucket two. 
but one thing that you need to remember is i have enabled versioning for both these buckets remember this is most important right so now first thing is we need to create the replication rules so for which bucket we need to create the replication rules in whichever bucket you are uploading the main objects or the original files for that bucket you need to create the replication rules so here in bucket 1 i am going to upload the objects okay these are considered as main objects or original objects so for this bucket i need to enable the replication now how to enable the replication rules or how to create the replication rules for a bucket so just click on the bucket and here you can see an option called management so click on management and then if you scroll down you can see replication rules okay currently we don't have any replication rules so let us create one replication rule so just click on create replication rule and then you should give the replication rule name here let's say i am going to give the replication rule name as castro replication i'm just giving some name okay you can also give whatever name you want and then status should be enabled this is most important so first i have given the replication rule name and then i have enabled the replication rule configuration after that you can see what is source bucket source bucket is bucket 1 mumbai cast that means whatever objects that i am going to upload into this bucket this will act as a source bucket now into which bucket i need to get the replicated objects into the bucket 2 and that bucket 2 we are going to call it as destination bucket okay source bucket and destination bucket source bucket is nothing but where we are going to upload the original objects destination bucket is nothing but whatever objects that i am going to upload in the source bucket all those objects should get replicated into the destination bucket but in our case the destination bucket is bucket 2 hyphen mumbai hyphen castro but i'll show you that how to configure the destination bucket but before that you can see one more option which is choose a rule scope here it is showing two different options the first one is limit the scope of this rule using one or more filters or there is second option apply to all objects in the bucket the first one is nothing but it is going to limit the scope of this rule suppose let's say i have uploaded some objects let's say i have uploaded an object with a name aws now whenever an object is uploaded with the prefix aws only those objects will get replicated okay only those objects will get replicated that is what limit the scope of this rule using one or more filters so this is my filter here okay this is my filter here now whenever i upload an object with a name aws only for those objects the replication will be available or replication will happen but let's say whatever objects i am going to upload into the source bucket all the objects should get replicated into the bucket 2 now in that case you need to select the second option which is apply to all objects in the bucket okay apply to all objects in the bucket means whatever i am going to upload in this bucket all those objects should get replicated into the destination bucket so currently i am choosing the second option i want all the objects to get replicated and then the next one is destination source bucket is bucket 1 hyphen mumbai hyphen castro whereas destination bucket is bucket 2 hyphen mumbai hyphen castro so here let us choose the source bucket you can see choose a bucket in this account this option which is specify a bucket in another account what does it means is when you have the s3 bucket in completely different account if you want to replicate the objects from one account to another account then you can select this particular option currently i have both the buckets in the same account so that's why i am choosing choose a bucket in this account and then bucket name so you can give the bucket name here if you remember otherwise you can click on browse s3 and it will list you all the buckets that are available in the s3 service bucket 2 hyphen mumbai hyphen castro okay this bucket is going to serve as destination bucket whatever objects that i am going to upload in the bucket 1 all those objects should get replicated into the destination bucket and that destination bucket name is bucket 2 hyphen mumbai hyphen castro so select the destination bucket and then click on choose path now with this you can see the bucket destination has also been configured and here you need to also select the iam role now here just to select the iam role and then 
if you don't have an iim role so far we have not talked about iim so it is not important to understand iim at this point of time i'll be making the videos on iim in the upcoming sessions but anyway let us select the iim role from the existing roles if you don't have any iim roles just click on this drop down to create a new role you can see there is an option if you just click on this drop down you can see an option called create new role so just click on create new role automatically a new iim role will get created and then remaining options i am not going to change anything and then click on save now before clicking on save there is one more option that we can try it out which is destination storage class so what does it means is it, let's say i have bucket 1 in bucket 1 i am going to upload all the objects into the standard storage class in bucket 2 the same objects i don't want it in the standard storage class let's say i want to have the objects into the intelligent tile okay into the intelligent tile instead of standard storage class i want to replicate the objects with a different storage class now that is also one of the advantages of working with replication setup so let's say i am going to change the storage class for the destination bucket now how to do that in order to do that we are going to select this option which is a destination storage class check this box and it will list you the storage classes now by default whenever i upload an object into the source bucket that is bucket 1 they will be standard but when they are replicating into the bucket 2 i don't want the objects to get stored in standard storage class let's say i want all those objects to get stored into standard ia okay standard ia ia means infrequent access so we have already talked about the storage classes if you haven't looked into that video i suggest you to please look into that video to understand what is the importance of storage classes in the s3 service right so let us select the standard ia okay so whatever objects that are going to get replicated into the destination bucket all those objects will have the storage classes standard ia this also i'll show you once after uploading the objects and replicating those objects into bucket with these details i am just clicking on save so with this i have configured the replication rule as well now you can see this option replicate existing objects so currently i don't have any objects both in bucket 1 and bucket 2 especially the bucket 1 right suppose let's say you have some objects in bucket 1 and you want to replicate the existing objects in that case you can select this option yes replicate existing objects what does it do is it replicates whatever the currently available object so currently we don't have any objects so it doesn't matter whether you select this option or this option but if you already have an object sir okay if you already have an objects into the source bucket if you want to replicate those existing objects also you can select this option yes replicate existing objects but anyway for time being we can select any of the option here as we don't have any objects in the source bucket so i am selecting the second option that is replicate existing objects click on submit the next step is create batch operations here. what does it mean by batch operation batch operations are nothing but let's say whenever i upload an object into the source bucket automatically those objects should get replicated into the destination bucket so i want it automatically i don't want to have the wait time to replicate i want immediately maybe within 10 to 15 seconds the object should get replicated into the destination bucket so that's why i am choosing this particular option now if you want to get a report like how many objects have been successfully replicated how many objects have been failed to replicate so that you can generate the report here so you can check generate completion report and then you can select what is your requirement based on that you will get the reports as well but currently i don't want any kind of reports so i'll uncheck this one and then iam roles i am just clicking selecting a new iam role here with this click on save so currently i have done everything with respect to the configuration of replication setup so with this the replication is applied for the first bucket with this we have successfully applied the replication setup for bucket 1 let me go to the s3 service and here you can see i have bucket 1 which is in mumbai region and i also have bucket 2 which is in mumbai region as well now what i am going to do is i am going to upload some objects into the bucket 1 automatically whatever objects that i am going to upload into the bucket 1 they should get replicated into the bucket 2 
But one thing that we have configured is by default, whenever I upload an object into the bucket one, they all will have the standard storage class. But when they are replicating into the bucket two, they should have standard IA, that is infrequently accessed as the storage class. Let us verify that also. But before that, let me click on bucket two. You can see there are no objects that I have uploaded. And then in bucket one also, I have not uploaded any objects. So let me upload the objects into the bucket one. So click on upload and select the objects or files, whatever you want to upload. Let's say I want to select this particular object. Okay, let's say this is the data set object or data set related object. So select this one and then click on open and click on upload. Now you can see I have uploaded one object into the bucket one. So in bucket one, I have an object. Now this object should automatically get replicated into the bucket two. But before that in bucket one, by default, what is the storage class? Standard is the storage class of this particular object. Now let us go to bucket two and verify whether replication has happened or not. Now you can see I'm currently there in the bucket two. Has the object replicated into the bucket two? Yes, but what is the storage class of this object? You can see standard IA. So you can change the storage class of original object and the replicated object also. So that's how you can replicate the objects between two buckets which are available in the same region. So let us upload one more object into the bucket one and let's see whether that object will get replicated into the bucket two or not. Now remember in both bucket one and bucket two, we have only one object. You can see in bucket two, I have only one object and in bucket one also, I have only one object. So let me upload the second object as well. So where I'm uploading in the bucket one, I'm uploading. So click on upload, click on add files and select any one particular file. So I'm selecting this one and then click on upload. And now let me go to the bucket two and let's verify whether that got replicated in bucket two or not. If you don't see the object, just click on refresh here so that the object will get replicated. You can just click on refresh. Currently, you can see there is only one object where I am there in the bucket two. So just keep on refreshing. It takes some 15 to 30 seconds to get replicated. Now, can you see it has automatically changed it to two objects. Now, has have we got the second object also? Yes, we have got. Now, what is the storage class of the second object? Standard IA is the storage class. So that's how you can work with the replication of objects between two buckets which are there in the same region. Now let us look after the second method of replication. What is second method of replication? When you have two different buckets in two different regions. Okay, let me create the third bucket in a different region. So let me click on bucket three, which I'm going to call it as bucket three hyphen Mumbai, or let's say I'll create this bucket in North Virginia region. Okay, we need to create in a different region, right? So I'm just giving the name. Okay, just because if you give the name, doesn't mean that a bucket is created in that region. So you have to select the region explicitly. So here, the AWS region, I'm selecting it as North Virginia. And then you can select general purpose and give the bucket name, that is bucket three, North Virginia Castro. And then you need to enable the versioning for the bucket. That is most important. So enable the versioning and then click on create bucket. Right. So here I have created bucket three. Okay. Here I have created bucket three. Now what I will do is I will apply the replication rule or I will create the replication rule in bucket two. What does it mean? It means whatever objects that I'm going to upload in bucket two, all those objects should get replicated into the bucket three. So instead of bucket one, I'm trying to replicate whatever objects in bucket two or whatever the objects that I'm going to upload in the bucket two, they should get replicated into the bucket three. So for that, what we need to do, we need to create the replication rule for the bucket two. So just click on bucket two, go to management. In the management, we are going to create the replication rule. Just click on create replication rule and give the replication rule name as rule two. So I'm just giving some name rule two and I have enabled the status also and the source bucket is bucket two hyphen Mumbai hyphen Castro. That means whatever objects that I'm going to upload into the bucket two, those objects should get replicated into the destination bucket. What is our destination bucket? Our destination bucket is bucket three hyphen not Virginia hyphen Castro. So let me select that bucket. Just click on browse S3. 
okay and then select the bucket and then click on choose path right so this bucket is there in the same account it is not there in a different account so i have selected this option and i have browsed and selected the bucket 3 also and then we need to select these rules choose a rule scope limit the scope of this rule using one or more filters i don't want to apply any filters whatever objects that i am going to upload into the source bucket those objects should get replicated into the destination bucket which is bucket 3 hyphen north virginia hyphen castro and iam role also let me click create a new role so just select choose from existing iam roles and then click on create new role automatically it will create a new role and storage class coming to the storage class i don't want to change the storage class what does it mean it means whatever objects that i am going to upload into the source bucket that is bucket 2 by default it will have a standard storage class now when they are replicating into the destination bucket that is in bucket 3 the i don't want the change in storage class i want whatever objects that i upload into the source bucket with whichever storage class the same storage class should be there for the objects that are replicating into the destination bucket also so for that reason i am not going to do any kind of change in the storage class with that let me click on save so that the replication rule has been applied for bucket 2 so do you want to replicate existing objects no i don't want to replicate existing objects i want only the objects whatever i am going to upload from now on only those objects should get replicated if you want to replicate the existing objects you can just select s yes and then you can replicate it currently i don't want any objects any existing objects to get replicated click on submit so you can see i have bucket 2 which is acting as a source bucket and bucket 3 which is acting as a destination bucket so before showing you the replication let me show you what are the objects and how many objects are there in bucket 2 and in bucket 1 also so in bucket 2 you can see there are two objects that we have used it for the first method of replication and in bucket 3 let us verify whether there are any objects or not you can see there are no objects in the bucket 3 objects is showing zero now what is going to happen whatever objects that i am going to upload into the bucket 2 they should get replicated into the bucket 3 which is there in different region you can see bucket 2 is in mumbai region and bucket 3 is in north virginia region and also one more thing is by default the objects will get uploaded into the standard storage class when i upload into the bucket 2 but when they are replicating into the bucket 3 i don't want the change in storage class i want the same storage class so that is standard right so let me click open bucket 2 and let me upload the objects so select add files and then select any one particular file that you are convenient at i am selecting this one and then click on upload so now i have uploaded an object into the bucket 2 you can see in bu bucket 2 i have three objects currently now let me go to destination bucket that is bucket 3 and let's verify whether we have got the objects or not if you don't see the objects just click on refresh automatically you will see the objects so here you can see when i reload it you can see the object has got replicated it took some time more than one minute it took to get replicated so i'm currently in the bucket 3 and you can see the object has got replicated into the third bucket that is bucket 3 so what is the storage class the storage class whatever the objects that got replicated into the bucket 3 the storage class of the object is also standard why it is standard because in bucket 2 i have uploaded the object into the standard storage class only so you can see this object storage class is standard that's the reason why in bucket 3 also the object is having the same storage class so this is how you can work with the replication concept that is available in the S3 service.